Welcome to the video for the ribbed ripple reversible afghan and I will have the link for the full pattern in the description of the video. I have already started with the row one. It's really basic basic stuff so I um, went ahead and did that row so you wouldn't have to go through that monotony in this video. And I'm going to concentrate on the second row and the third row which have the the front post treble crochet stitches which I think are the ones that may be the type of stitch that some folks may have not done so um, <clears throat> we'll concentrate on those. Alright so row two I'm going to chain three and turn and then I'm going to go ahead and double crochet two double crochet in this first stitch which was a triple crochet from the prior row. Now I am going to do two of the front post treble crochets. So I'm going to wrap my needle twice and I'm going to go down beneath this crochet from the prior row. See what I did? I went from the front because it's a front post. I'm going to go from the front and behind through and then I'm going to yarn over and pull that through. I'm going to do two loops, two loops, and last two loops. And what that does is it gives it some texture. That stitch will be raised. Now I'm going to do that again. Yarn over, go through two loops, two loops, two loops. So now I have two of these front post triple, cro triple crochets, which are raised stitches. Now I'm going to do two regular double crochets in, and I'm just doing the back loops, or actually the front loops of these two stitches. Then again, I'm going to do front post tribbles. Dude. Then the crochet. Then I'm going to do a decrease five. <clears throat> and the way that you do that is you yarn over like you're going to do a double crochet. And go into the stitch just like you're going to do a double crochet. Pull through. And pull through two. But then don't do the last two stitches yet. Yarn over again. Skip three. And in this stitch, with three skipped stitches in between, going to yarn over and see how you've got the beginnings of two double crochets on there and you have three loops left on your hook. Pull through like that. And you've skipped three chain stitches and you've used a stitch on either side. So it's, that's why it's a decrease five because you've, you've went from five stitches to one stitch. Now I'm going to double crochet and then do another front post. Then double crochet, double crochet. Another front post. Another front post. And now we're to the the crest of our um, ripple. And the way we're doing that in this blanket is we're going to do two double crochets. And then chain two 
and two double crochets all of that in that loop that we made on row one. Now we're going to do another front post treble. Double crochet. Front post. Double crochet. Now I'm going to show you again this decrease 5, yarn over, go under the stitch, pull through, go through 2 loops, then yarn over again, skip 1, 2, 3, and go under this stitch, pull through, yarn over and go through 2 stitches, so now you have 3 stitches on your hook, go through all 3, so you finish with 1 stitch you've taken five. And do another double crochet and then gonna do a front post front post double crochet Double crochet, front post, front post, and then in the turning chain, sometimes it's kind of hard to find, you're going to do two double crochets and one triple crochet. And that kind of makes the edge, having a, a triple crochet instead of a double, keeps the edge from curling. It's kind of the trick on that. All right, I'm going to chain three and turn. And then you just repeat that same row over and over again. And the beauty of this is because of the ripple, <clears throat> even though you're repeating the same stitches, the front post stitches will go in the double crochets from the prior row. It, it works out beautifully with this, the way the, the stitches stagger with a ripple. So I'm going to do two double crochets in that first stitch. So now I'm going to do my front post trebles. Yarn over three times and go through that. Yarn over three times and go under that. Whoops. Yarn over two times. Go under that <coughs> double crochet. Then my double crochets this time will be in my trebles from the prior row. And then here's my doubles from the prior row and I'll be doing the front post triples in those. And so just continue on just like that from the this is that same row over and over and over again and it creates this really neat textured look with the simplicity of just repeating one row over and over again it gives you a really sophisticated looking blanket once you're done because of the texture of those uh, front post triples thanks